are you doing, boy? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. You are abusing my penis? Larry, you're making him upset. I try to encourage Leopold's autoerotic activities. To the perfectly natural function of Colobus, his age, weight, and determination. Oh, my sugar plum dumpling. I do need to learn how to control this temper of mine. Monkeys, <clears throat> they eat their own poo-poo, you know. Those kinky little chaps. His ass is rather swollen, too, isn't it? I must say, I find those shoes you humans wear quite restrictive. Larry, what are you talking about? Yes, us humans will someday rule the world. Professor Robensonino, it's me, Larry, and I'm in the cage. My one and only reason for being, we shall escape to my simulated wildlife habitat in the Saskatoon Metro Zoo, where we will perform as the most successful interspecies comedic duo since Jane Goodall and Flo. Professor Robensonino, you gotta help me. Activate the brain exchanging machine. And we will live on the road, driving my 18-wheeler from Botswana to Togo, stopping at remote rest stops, where I will throw my own poo-poo at unsuspecting tourists. Larry, what on earth are you babbling on about? Professor Robensonino, can you understand me? You are in grave danger. The monkey has gained control of my body. He's using it to- Shut your festering gob, you tit! You'll never get away with this, monkey. Who has the opposable thumbs now, my good man. Ah, uh, now be a good little monkey, or I will remove the pinups you so enjoy. Machines, effects, fading, brain returning to my former primitive gnarled shell. Whoa.